with each software, I'd just like to uh, cover uh, the uh, run new period utility in PHP 12. So to get to it, uh, we can go to uh, the admin setup area. And then uh, the new period from the uh, admin tab. And just remember you do a backup before you do this process. Uh, that's uh, going to be done in the next video. So in here, you can see that it's already selected the month that we're going to be closing. And all we need to type in is uh, the new period and then click start. There's a couple of notable advantages of running the new period in PHP 12. First of all, it's much faster. Uh, we compared the same database with V9 and V12. Uh, the V9 database took about 14 minutes to run a GenStats and a month end, uh, whereas the GenStats is built into uh, the V12 month end process, and the whole process took four minutes. So it's much, much faster. Another advantage is that you can run the new period from anywhere with an internet connection. So you could run it from home after hours if you wanted to, and then you can go in and run your statements uh, from the prior month. Uh, so you can do it uh, on a public holiday or when you're not in and your staff are handling the store, uh, you can do the month end yourself still remotely. Um, also, another advantage is you don't have to log out all the users. So the users can stay in the system. Uh, while you're doing the month end, it's going to lock transactions. So it's not gonna let them update any transactions, uh, but it will keep everything as it is and people can still do inquiries, etc. So you don't need to log everyone out to do a month end. Um, so remember, you need to do a backup before you uh, do your month end, but the generate statistics is uh, included in the new period. So uh, hopefully that's, uh, that's nice and clear, uh, much faster and uh, much more portable. Thanks for watching.